Hello and welcome back. I hope I haven't bored you with all this information today, but honestly, really, <laughs> it's important and uh, I'm trying to make it as interesting as possible for you. You are listening to Linda Pinizzato, the condo expert on the Hayes FM. And I think today is a really important move forward to provide information. So as I mentioned, over the next four weeks, I'm going to give you in-depth information about condominiums. I'm going to explain the Condo Act. You know, that's one thing I should touch on right now. Now that you have uh, already know what to do if you decide to go out and purchase a new condominium, the minute that you become a condo owner, everything is mandated under the Provincial Condo Act. So you really need to understand what the Condo Act is about. The Condo Act is a Provincial Legislative Act which regulates and identifies the mandates and governing rules on the operations of condominium corporations within the province. Believe it or not, there's all different types of condominiums. You know, there's not just the standard condominium. A standard condominium is what you pretty much see all the time. I mean, you see, you know, whether it's a low-rise, mid-rise, or high-rise condominium apartment building, whether it's a stacked townhouse, or whether it's a you know, standard kind of a townhouse. All of those are under the standard condominiums. But did you know that there's also leasehold condominiums? There's vacant land condominiums. There's common element condominiums. There's phased condominiums. And there's amalgamated condominiums. The Condo Act actually covers all these different styles of condominiums. And it's there to regulate the operations. And COA is here to make sure that we have consumer protection in the new Condo Act review. There's been a lot of things that have been identified that are creating a problem and not creating governance or transparency within the operations of the condominium world. If I was to go through the uh, the different statements now of, of you know, we get a, a, a number of complaints that come through on a daily basis from condominium owners just basically across Ontario. And I am floored with some of the problems that are existing. And it's not always the board of directors. It could be a, uh, a rogue board, a rogue board, past board member who's decided that they're not happy any longer and they want to turn the building upside down. It could be from a condo owner that just has a chip on his back and he's just, he or she is just trying to cause problems. So you as a condo owner, what do you do? Do you just turn your head and ignore it all? You know, it may just fester and get worse. You need to stand up and learn a little bit more so that you have the knowledge and you can actually step forward should you have to. Condominiums are very complex. It's a choice of living in a community with a lot of other people. But the one thing that you have in common you all have an interest in this corporation. Whether it be a building, whether it be a townhouse, you have an interest in it. You've got to protect your interest. So you really need to, you know, you're, you're caught, you know, in the middle of what could be a, a very compromising situation. But, you know, you, you can't turn the other cheek. You do have to get involved and you have to learn a little bit more. So the Condo Act, if you were speeding on the highway and the police pulled you over and you got yourself a ticket, you'd be under the Traffic Act. And that's how you'd be fined and that's how you'd go to court. There is no governance. It's self-regulated. The Condo Act is self-regulated. And that's where the problem is. So if condo owners out there are not watching things and keeping an eye on things, how do you know if things are self-regulated that they're actually being looked after in the best interest of your interest. You know, when you talk about financial statements, you know, really owners are privy to financial statements pretty much once a year. Well, well I guess they could be twice. The one time is when the board of directors gets together and they, they prepare their budget and they tend to do it just before year end. And once they've prepared the budget, they send it out to all of the condo owners and say, okay, fine, this is the budget for the next year, and this is what the increase of maintenance fee is going to be for you. So you will receive a letter in the mail with the budget that shows you exactly how much your increase is going to be. 
So the question is, is that if you receive this letter and your increase is over 5%, what do you do about it? What have you done about it? Have you just accepted it and said, okay, fine, you're just going to go ahead and they're going to do automatic payment through your bank and call it a day? Take a look at what the inflation rate was for the year. If the inflation rate for the year was not at 5%, then you've got to question, why did it get to 5%? However, 5% is not bad, but I've seen some buildings that honestly, they've gone 10 and 15% and even 20%. Ask questions, you should be getting answers. If you're not getting answers, then you have an internal problem. The next time that you're going to see this budget is going to be at the annual general meeting. And at that time, the auditor is going to be presenting the budget. And that is a perfect time. It's a perfect opportunity for you to ask questions and go get more information about your budget. The auditors are appointed by the corporation. They're not hired by the board of directors. They're appointed. They have a fiduciary duty to protect the owners and the corporation. So if you have concerns... Get familiar with this budget before you go to the AGM because otherwise maybe you could look at the previous year because you're going to be hard understanding it. And if you feel that the auditor is going too fast, put your hand up and say, excuse me, sir, could you please slow it down? I'm having problems following you. So that budget is going to give you a total view of what's going on in your building. And you should be able to look at it and identify where you feel the ex extra expenses are coming from and may be the reason why that maintenance fee has gone up so much. Because you do need the answer to that. I can tell you, you know, unfortunately, if I actually did a, uh, a survey around the province, I would, and it's so sad, I, I would actually find out that, you know, that there's probably, I would say maybe 50 people 50 condo owners out of 300 that actually go to their annual general meeting. That's it. It's that slim. You can't have that much apathy. So I don't want to be a preacher here today. We are, <laughs> we are talking condominiums. You know, it's because I care. That's the bottom line. I care and I really think that, uh, you know, with this loaded information, you'll have a better understanding of what this is all about. And you'll have a better understanding and feel a lot more confident when you step forward and you ask questions because you've listened to the condo expert here at the Hayes and you've been able to stream together all this information, whether it's coming from a guest speaker or whether it's just coming from myself over these next five weeks. But at least you've got some details. And then you also have a reference. You can go to the Condo Owners Association website and you can find everything that you want to. You can even listen to videos. The videos will tell you what the concerns are. We'll be doing a series of more videos to just identify some more items that you might want to consider. So did you know that uh, right now over half of the construction in Ontario is condominiums? Did you realize that? It's pretty amazing, isn't it? If I go back in time, I remember back in the late 70s, you know, condominiums were not that popular. But today it's a whole different ball of wax and it's a necessity. So that is probably one of the big reasons why our government stepped forward and recognized that the Condo Act needs to be changed. You're listening to Linda Pinizzato at the Hayes FM, it's the condo expert. I've really enjoyed chatting with you today. Hang tight and I'll be right back. Linda Pinizzato. She's not your typical realtor. She's your real estate counselor, teacher, and advisor. Whether it's a house, townhome, or condo, when you're ready, she's your negotiator. With 34 years of experience, Linda guarantees that you have the real estate knowledge you need to make the right decisions. Call Linda Pinizzato at Sutton Group Quantum Realty, 416-561-7373, or visit her at lindapinizzato.com and thank you so much for joining me you know today has been just a fascinating time of learning so much of what's going on out there and that's what the condo expert is all about i'll hit so many different issues you'll notice them on itunes and on podcast reporting here from the hayes fn 
You have been listening to Linda Pinizzato of The Condo Expert. Now, also remember, register yourself. If you're a condo owner or a condo buyer, register at www.coaontario.com. And also, if you've got questions, whether they're real estate related or condominium or property values, this and that, you know, I wouldn't have the uh, information I have had I not had the experience that I've received, and I certainly wouldn't have been able to start the Condo Owners Association without having this kind of a background. So contact me at Linda Pinizzato, P-I-N-I-Z-Z-O-T-T-O at coaontario.com or linda at lindapenizzato.com. Until the next time, have a fantastic day, and thank you so much for tuning in. Oh, my computer crashed. Oh, no, I've got a virus. Oh, no way, no internet connection. Do you need help? Call IT Mayday, 647-977-7113, itmayday.com.